Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be our monthly ASIC pricing update video. This is going to be for September 2024. And in this monthly series, what we're doing is we're looking for any pricing trends with those ASICs, whether they're going up or down. We're trying to keep our eyes on them just to kind of see where the trends are. For the goal of looking for those cheap prices, we're going to look for any deals and kind of just where the overall market is going. Okay, so currently we're still looking pretty good in that department. Prices are ticking lower, but we're going to talk about what our findings are and we're going to talk about those deviations, right? We're not going to go through every single ASIC, but we're going to go through the ones who have been fluctuating a little bit, whether it's up or down, talk about it, give our thoughts on where the market's going. Okay, so if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. Let's get right to this thing. So we will start off with talking about just the overall market, because at the end of the day, mainly BTC, right? Whatever BTC does, that's kind of where the sentiment of the overall market goes. And currently where we're at, 63,000 and currently kind of a little dip, right? Ultimately, we we're kind of getting ready for October. Sentiment was pumping. And then ultimately today we did dip down a little bit. When you hear, when you look at the 24 hour chart, it's like, oh man, we're on a downtrend. But again, all that's happening is we're back to last week. <laughs> which in reality isn't much. I mean, like the whole saying goes, when in doubt, zoom out. When you go back on the one year chart, in reality, we've just been chopping, right? Up and down, up and down, up and down. But we've been in this range since early March, right? Early March, we're at 62K. It's essentially where we've been at for all these freaking months, right? So is it kind of boring to the end? Is this boring time over? Will October happen? Maybe, maybe not, but when sentiment all around is kind of all on the same board that's when you should be kind of weary because that's when the manipulators and the whales like to come out and play right so everybody's prepping up for october so what do you think is going to happen a lot of people are trying to put in longs and what do you think is going to happen they're going to try to get them wrecked right so if october does play out i would expect to see it more mid-month or maybe towards the end of the month or maybe it doesn't happen at all who knows but at the end of the day the reason why you should still kind of be excited is that Prices are still relatively good right now because of this, okay? So just keep in mind that as soon as the market does flip, what else flips? The prices of the ASICs, which as we have seen, as soon as the price goes up, sometimes that same day we'll see increases on the prices, right? Versus when it's the inverse, when we're looking for those deals, it takes a sustained downtrend, sustained negative sentiment for these prices to go down, okay? So that's why we're kind of looking at it and trying to keep our eyes on when they start kind of ticking up because then at that point it's potential the market may begin to flip okay so overall we'll see how things go probably the next one we do towards the end of october things may be completely different but overall the trending for this one is prices have been down we'll get to that here in a second let's look on mining now and just kind of look at the overall profitability which has been trending down right things sentiment wise in the mining aspect have been extremely extremely low and they're probably going to continue that way until things start to flip but then again by that point kind of too late right so to each their own on that whole theory but uh on the top of the list are those alethium units which is the current flavor of the month for now at least until the rx ones and rx threes get announced and guess what they're going to have some crazy astronomical number and they'll be the top ones on there for a bit right so this is going to continue to change and shuffle as we know with these like immature network asics the hype asics such as like alephium these rxds that are coming out we know that they're going to change drastically just like we saw all of last year with caspa because of the difficulty continually increasing therefore your yields going down probably going down until the price action flips so just keep in mind that the reason we're here is that we're speculating on that eventually hopefully the prices of the assets will continue or not will continue, but we'll begin to start going up at what pace. We don't know. Will it be something that's kind of gradual and little bit by little bit, or could it be one day to the other? We have a crazy change that can also happen, right? We've seen these crazy pumps before, so don't be surprised to see them and don't be surprised for the fiat profitability to swing wildly here in the coming either weeks or maybe months here. Okay. But again, like we mentioned all the time, Try to focus on the yield because that's where things will remain more consistent. We'll see from there because, again, if Alephium 2x is in a day, that's going to go wildly different. 
and then also on the inverse if they get a 30% cut 40% cut it's gonna look quite different also okay so keep those things in mind as you look through profitability now let's get to some of these prices so the biggest changes obviously these past this past month has been the extreme drops with the hype basics with the casp and alifium basics so we're not gonna spend too much time on them because we've talked about them plenty but two other reductions that just recently happened that I haven't touched on too much are the bigger boy ice river caspa asics so the ks5l and the ks5m did have recent reductions here in kind of as an answer to the bitman ks5 pro and ks5 price reductions that happened here recently so the 5l 12 tera hash 3400 watt unit is down to 1449 and the ks5m 1999 okay so key takeaways here the ks5m still has that premium to me not good enough on the efficiency front to justify that so that one i wouldn't consider the ks5l is more appealing at 1449 until you see the price of the bitmain unit coming in at 2599 which when you look at it it's like oh, okay 1220 the biggest difference here though is the efficiency the bitmain unit is twice as efficient arguably a more superior unit also just in general even if they were you know the same specs okay so realistically this is where it gets tough with at least the big boy asics is that the prices are now so low that it just makes more sense to go with the bitmain unit at this price right even if this were to get reduced further it goes down to 1200 bucks 1100 bucks or they hit that magic spot of under a thousand down to 999 realistically i would probably still be going with the bitmain unit right the main thing that kind of gets me and like oh well you know it's cheaper price to terahash it just seems too likely that there's potentially another model coming down the pipeline if it's from ice river again they're still technically like a generation behind of the bitmain unit right so the real threat would be not necessarily if ice river were to get a newer unit that competes with this guy at that point it just puts it on par what i would be aware of or what I would be kind of worried about is if there's a new Bitmain model that increases the efficiency or doubling it yet again, right? So because of that, that threat alone, I would, if I'm eyeing any of these, at least on the big boy front, it's going to be the Bitmain unit to kind of hedge against that possibility, okay? Because at that point, if a 40 terahash unit at 3,200 watts comes out, it's going to give this guy a very hard time right versus at least this guy will st still be relevant it would be the same comparison between like the bitmain unit and the current ice river unit okay at least that way it's kind of a hedge against that okay so again the prices are now so low that it's like it would just makes more sense to get the bitmain unit like it's hard to say where we go from here at least until caspa's price action starts increasing which i mean at this point if there's not another new model in the pipeline don't be surprised to see these things magically pump <laughs> from take a guess as to who, right? The plethora of manufacturers that make these Caspa ASICs. Because eventually it will come to a point, as crazy as it seems, even these like KS3Ms and any of the bigger units are likely to be profitable or more profitable once again in the future if Caspa does what we're anticipating it may do. Especially if it happens sooner than later. If it happens farther down in the cycle, like we don't get any real price action until next summer, then it might be kind of a rough time just because of those emissions reductions, right? Realistically, the max amount to be made is going to be these next like six months or so. Okay, so again, you want to focus on the yield here. You want to get as much as you can early. The prices are pretty freaking crazy. And I mean, even on the small front now, it's just crazy to see how efficient they are. Like the recent introduction of this KS2 Lite, the two terahash unit, 500 watts, under 600 bucks. Kind of crazy, which I get it. It doesn't seem too appealing now, but on the at home front, using it as a solo miner or for mining these other coins that you can also mine on K Heavy Hash, not, not a bad bet there. But in terms of the bigger boys, it's, it's the Bitmain unit, right? At least for now, while these prices are low. Again, if we get that Kraken listing or other things happen, it can cause price action. We're gonna have to just wait and see how that goes, but realistically for these guys, it's the Bitmain unit, right? 
Um, for comparison's sake, again, we like to use NHAS just because that's my preferred vendor. That's who I personally buy mine from. They tend to have some of the best prices out of the retail stores, right? So for comparison's sake, we'll compare it to one of the other major retailers. We'll look at the price of Crypto Miner Bros. And in this comparison, again, this is the October batch of the 20 terahash unit. They have it at $28.49 versus NHASH has it at $25.99. A few days ago, it did hit $24.99. So keep in mind, these things do jump literally day to day. So it's hard, especially with pre-orders, because again, anything can happen. You may lock it in now, and then things get really bearish in a few weeks, and it goes down further. Or the inverse happens. The Kraken listing happens and we're at 25 cent a CASPA and this thing goes up to 3,000, 3,200. Those are the risk factors with pre-ordering, especially that far ahead of time. Something to factor in there. Um, on the Ice River unit front, again, it's 1449 shipped. Again, these prices here on NHASH are shipped. If you guys are interested in any of these, I do have referral links for any of those who are interested. But again, for comparison's sake, they do have the KS5L 1699. Again, in comparison to the 1449 here, right? So just... For price comparison purposes, another one that did trickle down slightly, again, it doesn't want to budge a whole lot, are the Script Asics. Okay, so the one I've been kind of eyeing, and I'm curious about to see if there's any drops, so far they haven't budged much, are the Alpha Pex units. Okay, the L9 is the superior unit, and there are pretty big discounts coming up for pre-orders. Okay, the kind of the issue with the Script Asic, with the L9 specifically, is the spot price is extremely high. So at spot, I would not be buying at 11K. They have the 16 giga hash model at 11,199. When, and now again, we're at the end of September. Tomorrow's gonna be October. So tomorrow forward, you're about a month away from the November batch. The November batch goes down to 84.49. The farther down you go, the cheaper it gets. Although this batch is extremely tempting, it's just so far away, man. I have a very hard time ordering anything more than like a month, maybe two months tops. Because as we have seen, a lot of things can change within that amount of time. Okay, so if I were interested here, which it is heavily, heavily, heavily on the radar, it would be the November batch. Just because again, although this is the better deal, I would like to get in sooner than later. In case things do get crazy, shenanigans happen, delays happen, again, I would rather come in sooner than later. Okay. So, again, what's interesting here is that this is now coming up pretty close. Initially, when, th when this was announced, it's like, oh, man, it's pretty far away, or we're getting up pretty close. So, what I've been eyeing and what's been kind of holding me back is, number one, the January price point, right? The fact that January, it's hard to buy something spot currently when you know there's pre-orders in months away that are like half the price this is extremely weird right this should kind of like stand out like what is the reasoning what is kind of going on here do they know something we don't it's kind of weird the only thing i could think of think of is that it's a hedge in case the local tech thing is real maybe that's why are they that threatened by it maybe maybe not right so it's hard to say what's going on there but again, what we've been eyeing is to see what Alpha Pex does. This is kind of what's called, kind of holding me back from even pulling the trigger on the L9 just because I'm very curious to see what happens here. These units have been proving themselves. This is one that is definitely on the consideration list. Both of these guys actually is essentially the DG1 Plus is just scaled up, right? The efficiency is slightly better, but they're both pretty close and it's just going to be a price point thing. So currently they have their model, which is 14.4 giga hash, which is obviously less and it's less efficient. Also, this thing is damn near 4,000 watts, but the price point. So I'm curious to see if they lower it because at this point, it's a little bit more expensive than the November pre-order. Okay, and again, that's weeks away now. So I'm curious to see how they react here or do they stabilize the market and just keep it there? Okay, because if they do, then obviously you're going to want to go with the L9. So it's just going to only make sense for them to potentially reduce the price here. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for. Do they react aggressively? Do they pull like an ice river or are they going to be just conservative and go down to $79.99? Which wouldn't be the worst price in the world. But if the L9 is available spot at that price, I'll be getting the L9, which I don't think it will. Right. Even if price action is kind of where it's at right now. I wouldn't be surprised if the spot price is a little bit higher, even if the sentiment is the same. Okay, so 
And so again, they do have the November batch is what I would be eyeing. I would not be buying spot, but just for comparison's sake, spot price on Minor Bros, they have it at $12,399. That's for the 17 giga hash model. Their price is $11,799. Again, just for comparison. Um, the November batch, which is what I would be eyeing, they have it at $84.49 versus their November batch is $88.49. So a little bit closer, but not really. $400, bucks, still $400, right? So again, just for comparison. Um, and as far as the Alpha Pex unit, the only vendor I've seen do further batches out that are slightly cheaper has been BT Miners. So I've kind of been eyeing this just to kind of look for the trends and see if any of the other vendors begin listing them. Okay, so their November batch, they do have it at under 8K at $79.99. Okay, what I buy from here depends. The benefit with BT Miners, again, I do have a referral link for them as well. The main use case with them is the credit card aspect. So if you have something where you have reward points to burn or you need to spend in order to earn those reward points, something of that sort, which I've done in the past and it does work great. The disadvantage is typically the price is usually somewhat competitive. They're not as low as NHash. It is going to be higher, but they do have a credit card processing fee as well as you're going to be paying sales tax on top of that also versus the NHash price or even the minor bros price. It's that price pretty much flat, but it's crypto only, right? BT miners is one of the few that does take credit cards. Okay. But I am going to be watching just mainly just to see the price of this thing, right? I'm curious to see if they do lower and if NHash lowers and where how low it goes, if it lowers, right? We don't even know. Again, this is all theoretical, but it is one that I am eyeing at least until the market begins flipping or who knows, right? This is one is just, it's tricky, right? Mainly because it's just, we got to see what Alphapex does. All right, on to the next one. And this is another one I have been eyeing. And it's some of these like ETC ASICs, these ETH hash ASICs. So this one finally did dip a little bit. Did it dip a lot? No. Is this a little bit better? Somewhat. Why is it dipping? It's a trend that we saw last month with the jingle, with the, not the jingle, the jazz miner units. Okay, so they do have, this is the 3800 mega hash unit. It's down to 3749. So it's back under 4K. Let's compare it with Miner Bros. They have the 3800 mega hash unit at 44, 49. And the reason it's been lowering is because Jazz Miner's finally beginning to get aggressive with their pricing. So this guy actually did go up in price, right? This was actually lower last month or the last time we did an update, it's down to, they have a pre-order for the 1650. Again, this is the lower end one. This is the QE model, has less RAM also, six gigs versus the eight gigs of the other. The downfall here also, you do have to order two. There's, there's an MOQ with this one, so it uh, makes it kind of iffy if you're not intending on purchasing multiples, okay? So what also did trickle down a little bit is the regular model. They have the 1950 and it's down to 1600 shipped, okay? So not bad pricing, but because they've been low, they have been lowering here, the Bombax unit finally did lower because realistically it does need to go down even further. Right. So mainly because, again, another part of the reason they're most likely lowering here is that we're getting closer to the release of their next gen unit, which is the X44Q, which is extremely, extremely appealing. They have not given us much info, though. We don't have really shipping windows. It's not even like a quarter window. They haven't given us zero information since the initial announcement of the specs, which essentially they did just to kind of cock block bombax, essentially. Right. So my guess would be Q125. We don't really have price points. Jingle Mining did put up the pre-order for the X44Q at like 5,600. So that is giving us some potential insight and it is a superior unit to both of these guys, right? So these guys are probably gonna wait until they get more confirmation. And my iffiness here is just, again, reliability. This is their only model. They're not a proven manufacturer versus the Jasmine units have been around. There is also the lingering factor of a potential bit main replacement to the E9 Pro. Will it happen? Won't it happen? It's all theoretical, but at this point, this is something we have to always be weary of, right? But the other thing to consider here is the timeline of when that model comes out, because if it's not going to come out until Q1 of next year, at that point, I almost don't care because the prices are probably going to be pretty extreme by that point anyway. Right, my kind of cutoff for the ASICs is actually now, right? At this point, we don't know what's gonna happen. If you're like in the market for any of these things, 
just again, as soon as that price action looks like it's going to start taking off, that may be the time, right? But again, just keep in mind, it's sustained trends, right? There's going to be a lot of well games and manipulation in the market here just because, again, everybody knows we are eyeing the market. We know what happens this month specifically in terms of the having cycle with Bitcoin, right? So all eyes are definitely going to be there, but this is one we're going to continue to follow, although realistically, I'd be more interested in the newer guys, right? With ASICs, I tend to like to get latest and greatest just so it lasts me hopefully the longest amount of time okay on to the next model and this is another one we've touched on the last we're not going to go too in depth here and it's just the lowering of all the alethium asics the main ones that just went down recently are the gold shell units and again it's just an answer because of the recent announcement of the ice river al2 light which is again like we've mentioned before in the pricing is a game changer right because now in my opinion, that out of the current prices and what's available now and here, to me, it's the most appealing. Okay, so kind of to each their own, but that for me definitely would be the most appealing out of the bunch. Okay, because these guys with their price reductions, they didn't reduce it enough. It's not there yet. The AL2 light is just appearing every way. Okay, so that would be where the focus is. Now, we were saying potentially there could be a reduction and there may be do i see it being a great reduction at least in the short term not necessarily with the big boy units potentially though yes i could see this guy going down further because again if you were to buy the equivalent in the al2 lights it's pretty much on par with the current ice river price and again bitmain just did lower the price on the al1 so because of this AL1 price reduction, it's possible that this big boy gets reduced further. This guy may not get reduced a whole lot just because, again, typically the smaller units, there's usually a premium. Okay, and in this case, potentially even more because it does have an integrated PSU already and potentially it looks like it may have Wi-Fi. We haven't got full confirmation there, but we can see the adapter there. So it looks like it's there, but it's hard to say if it's going to be like an add-on. You have to buy the little adapter. Who knows, but to me, it's just the pricing is just this guy. Okay, so the Alebox 2 Plus, Alebox 2 Pro, the Alebox 3 did drop. The official price from Gold Shell was $779. Resellers have it at $749 shipped, though. So obviously, if you're interested, and hash is the better price there. But again, I would be getting the AL2 Lite, right? So in reality, I'm not going to go too in-depth here because this is the guy to get, right? On to the next one, and this is an interesting one just because they did a recent restock. This is the K7, and the reason I'm highlighting this guy is, again, just because of the price action. So this is kind of proving the theory that it seems like they have these things ready to go, essentially just waiting for the price action to happen, okay? Because CKB had a pump mid-September, just a few weeks ago, and then like 10 days later, they announced the magical restock of the K7. Okay, so again, if you're in the market for these things, they have them ready to go. Just factor in if you're looking at any of these things, if you're chasing that profitability, just keep in mind what happens. For any guys who saw what happened with that initial pump, kind of saw what happened is that yes, the price went up, profitability looks good, but then what happened? The hash rate went up immensely because of that restock. Okay, is it going to happen here again? Probably not as much just because it did not necessarily it did retrace a tad bit it didn't go up as much as it did in that initial run up but the network also did mature quite a bit more so the hash rate did go up because again although the ASICs have been around for CKB quite a while this guy was so much more efficient than the competition that it kind of reset everything right and we saw a similar situation with like the Kadena miner the KA3 where it just reset the game and so although this guy could be appealing again the downfalls the amount of time that it's been out it's going on it's a little over a year and a half now will there be a k9 replacement potentially but when is it going to happen right is it going to be in the next month or two or is it not going to be till like q1 when things are really pumping right so just factor that thing in with any of these older asics that's why it's such a tough time right now in reality to buy a lot of the asics right because right now currently the sentiment is pretty low a lot of the hype and the attention is on the hype asics which people kind of slept on these more 
I don't even want to see legacy ASICs, but these ASICs that have been around a while. And it's tricky with even these guys now, the K7, the K3, the D9, the Z15 Pros. Just because they're at the point now where typically we're in the realm of potentially a new model coming out sometime in the future. Okay, typically from what we've seen with Bitmain, at least in the past, it was typically a two-year cycle. Two, sometimes three-year cycle. Although now a lot of that theory is kind of off the table just because what we've seen with like the cast basics where it's like we saw multiple generations of basics within a freaking year, right? Is that going to continue now with some of these other ASICs? Maybe, maybe not. The advantage with some of these others like CKB, K3, Kadena Miners, they're not as popular of an algo. So potentially there might not be as much interest from competitors, okay? Because currently... Again, this model at the time, or not even just at the time, it's still currently so much more efficient than the competition that there is essentially no competition, right? IB Link had their competitor and it got wiped out immediately before it even announced. Again, the IB Link models, both CKB and Kadena, got wiped out by this thing and they came out after. Okay, so just something to consider if you're chasing any of these is just keep in mind the hash rate and difficulty, right? So another thing to factor in there. And then, haven't touched on these in a while, just because there has been almost zero movement. Okay, we can pretty much say that these are the bottoms. Like at this point, it's hard to imagine them going any lower, just because again, they've been here this whole time. The only thing I could see expediting things is the fact that the S21 XP is now shipping, but the prices just haven't budged, which is a little bit surprising, right? So these rock bottom prices, or these really cheap ASICs, I don't see them going a ton lower because, again, like the S19K Pros, that $1249, even if they go down 50% down to 600 bucks, which so far they haven't, it's a reduction of $600, right? Is that the biggest thing in the world? No. The ones that I'm kind of surprised haven't moved are these guys, the S21 and S21 Pro, because now there's the S21 XP that's outclassing both of them, right? So realistically, typically people want latest and greatest. You would think that these would start to scale back, but they've been flat man they have not budged at all right so from the whole miner perspective is just not the most appealing thing in the world yes bitcoin is the most resilient and is the only asset i would hold beyond this market beyond this cycle actually so there is that it's just it's hard to really recommend just because of how accelerated the hash rate is going and even the amount of units right this is something that is also present unprecedented the amount of units that have came out right it's like gen after gen after gen it's like s21 s21 pro s21 xp all within the matter of like eight months bananas right so we'll keep our eyes on it maybe if things start pumping maybe they start creeping up a little bit we're gonna keep our eyes on it but just that's the main reason i haven't done anything on them just because there's been nothing right it's been been pretty crazy but overall, things have been trickling down. Obviously, some harsher than the others. Those Casbin Leafy Masics have been aggressive reductions. Everything else has been trickling, right? The Script Asics did just trickle down a bit. Last month, I think they were like 50, 100 bucks more. Even the L7s did go down just like 100 bucks more, right? Everything's kind of trickling down. Just an anticipation that the market's going to go up. So we're going to have to wait and see. Will this be the last one or these downtrends or is the next month going to be bearish too? I'm very curious to what happens in next month, right? So going to probably go a little bit more in depth the next month if things change, right? Eventually we're anticipating that either October, November, we will start seeing some price action going on. To what extent, we don't know. Is going to be a 5% thing or will things get kind of crazy at least initially, right? So just because things do go up also, just keep in mind it's not up and to the right only. Right. When you zoom in on those markets, even on the previous cycle, there's a lot of peaks, a lot of valleys, a lot of up and down, a lot of sideways action still. Right. But when the price action does happen, it typically does happen pretty violently. Right. Sentiment changes like that. Pricing of these things also changes like that. Right. So just keep in mind, guys, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you guys think? Is there anything else you guys are eyeing? Are you guys done? Are you guys settled in? Like I'm for the most part, pretty much in where I want to be realistically i think here on now it's going to be dabbling into the little home miners actually more than anything that's kind of where my interest is going to be more than anything 
unless prices go lower and then if they do maybe we'll do our video earlier than usual we'll see but let me know in the comments guys what do you guys think where you guys are at and if you guys are even interested in hardware at all i know it's been <laughs> very doom and gloom on that front but let me know in the comments guys please comment like and subscribe guys thank you for watching i really do appreciate it and i am out